In this video, I'm going to share with you my storage wallet movie collection in 2021. Hey, it's me AP and welcome back to another video. And in the intro, as I said, this will be a video exploring my storage wallet movie collection this year in 2021. Um, I think I did a video last year talking about the my uh, my storage like of uh, DVDs in my wallet, big storage wallet. And I thought, you know, a, a year has passed or so, probably since that last video I done talking about the the storage that I use. And I thought, let's let's explore it and let's have a look and take a deep dive into that collection in in this video and see what is in my my storage wallet and discuss. Uh, some of the movies in that wallet as well. So uh, I've got the wallet right here. It's a big, heavy, it's heavy load in this this wallet. Now it is. You could actually probably lift some weights with this. It's quite heavy. Um, but yeah, it's pretty full. I think it holds about 200, 150 to 200 uh, DVDs or 4K, whatever, whatever you want to store it. Discs. Um, it's a great, great storage unit, and it's a well storage wallet. Um, really durable. Very, you know, it's not had any like sort of like damage to it over the past year or two since i've had this now uh really good really strong uh really worthwhile i will will just add as well um if you didn't watch the initial video the other year when i i talked about my storage solutions for the movie collections uh, the reason really that i use this storage wallet as well as my storage collect uh, the storage behind me for movies as like an additional storage unit. It's purely because I, I don't like mess. Um, I'm very much, even as a collector of movies, I'm very much like a minimalist person. I, I don't like having uh, tons of stuff. I'm very limited to what I have. Um, I, I think I like having stuff that I enjoy and which is useful to me, but I don't like having clutter. Um, and that's where the storage, little storage wallet comes in handy. I, before having that and, uh, in the process of doing all this and getting the wallet, I was in, on a journey of sort of like uh, declutterizing the things in my home, in my life, and and doing minimalism. And I'm still to this day, I'm very much like that. Um, so for me, I, I, at the time, I had like loads of clutter, loads of DVDs uh, that I wasn't watching, and uh, just like overstock of DVDs basically in my wardrobe, under my bed. They were everywhere, and it just got to that point where I was like, I need a solution. This is where the wallet came in, and it was a, uh, it worked out really well. It's a great uh, tool for me for storing DVDs that I'm maybe unsure of, that I don't want to really get rid of, but I just want to keep all of. Um, and it's great, and I, I, I like having it there. It's great for me uh, to just grab it out and be able to have that many DVDs in a little small uh, wallet like that. It's great. And it is a great solution for me personally, as well as having this storage behind me as well. So uh, that's sort of like a little backstory to why I have it. It's really for me to save on the, the clutter and the overstock uh, for me personally, for me personally, of having tons of DVDs just in random areas in my home. Uh, it's nice to have just a nice, simple solution for storing the movies that I enjoy. So now let's deep dive into the actual collection. Let's see what is in the storage wallet. Uh, let me just start off. We're gonna start off here with these. What I do is when I wanna put a DVD into the, to the storage wallet, I will get rid of the case, uh, recycle the case in the appropriate plastic bin. And what I will do then is I keep the cover artwork. So I keep all the artwork for all the movies in here. There's quite a lot. It's a very thick load here, but then undamaged. Um, I like to keep all of these just if I change my mind. And if I want to potentially do a video on a certain movie, I can swap it out with, I have like a spur DVD case down here in the cabinet behind me. So I can use it to display the artwork for a movie that I want to maybe do a video on. Um, so I keep all the artwork because I, I, I like the artwork, movie artwork. I've mentioned this in in loads of different videos that I enjoy looking at artwork of movies. It, it's it's a it's a, a thing I just enjoy doing. So I, for me, it's I don't want to just throw the artwork away and I want to keep the, the artwork and the disc intact. So I can always change, I can always, you know, put it back in the collection if I want to. 
Um, but these are great. So I keep all these here and these are always, always cool to look at. Even if sometimes you don't, you don't want to watch a movie in particular, but you just want to look through these and it's just nice to look through all the different pieces of artwork knowing you can just skim through them really quickly. I really like that. So that's where we start off with. Um, now let's get to the actual movies in the collection. So this is, uh, we start off with, let me see, it's quite heavy. <laughs> let's see, I'm gonna, let's, yeah, I've got it now. I've got the hang of it, I think I've got it. So uh, what we do start off with here in the collection is Frasier. We've got the Frasier discs and I've got the whole box, box set of Frasier. And, and this was another one where at the time the, the box set was just, it was like a cardboard box set and it was the worst box set um, packaging you could ever find in a DVD. Uh, it would scratch the discs every time. And this was like another thing what sort of like inspired me to get this wallet because because uh, of just really bad packaging on some box sets and movies. Uh, I just maybe think, you know what, well, let's try and get a better solution. And this is where it comes in, come in handy. So um, we've got all the Frasier collection. I know they're actually doing a new series of Frasier at the moment. It's in in the works. So we're going to have to add to that collection probably eventually if we get a physical media release of that because I love Frasier. I think it's a great series. Um, so we got all the Frasier and they take up quite a substantial amount of the uh, space in this this actual wallet and we're about we're quite a few flips in now so again here we go another flip another flip here so you can see yeah another load of seasons of Frasier we got season seven season eight we're up to season Nine. How many seasons of Frasier was there? There was quite a few. Season 10. And that must be the last of it. Season, the final season. Great series, great, great series. Then we've got Ricky Gervais, the Ricky Gervais show. First season of that. Uh, really great animated show. I love the Ricky Gervais show. Uh, this is quite kind of funny, yeah. This is what we used to get. I don't know if you got this across the world, but... Here in the UK, we used to get, they used to do it a lot in the newspapers that give away free uh, DVDs. And I've got a free DVD of Big Here. And it's it's free with the news of the world. And it is a really bad copy of a movie. It's a, it's like, I, I know some of these are like, they're really like low, low quality. It must be just the way they're done really, really cheap. But you would get this a lot. They've put out movies in, in the papers over the years. And it was something that got phased out over time. But they used to do it with CDs as well. You'd always get like a free CD or a free DVD in a paper. Let me know if you've still got any of these uh, in your collection. Any of these free DVDs from the newspapers. Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? We've got... I'm going to try not to let this go out of my hand. So I may have to not like focus on the camera too much here i'm gonna just keep up my eyes on this we've got ted we've got the devil wears prada let me sque squeeze through a few of these and the office we've got the uk office collection here i love the office a bit of david brent you can't beat david brent ricky gervais i feel like um i i feel like over the years um I'm slowly now becoming David Brent in real life. I've always felt like that. I've always had like tendencies and certain mannerisms of David Brent, but I do feel like the older I get, I become more like David Brent. <laughs> I'm just becoming that sort of like uh, that guy who's just uh, somewhat socially awkward sometimes and just does like stupid things. And then people look at him and be like, oh, why did he do that? I, I'm, I'm definitely becoming that guy. And he's, he, I'm like, a, I'm like a, I, got, <laughs> I just need the I need the, like, the goatee. That's all I need, and um, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. I, but he, he's a comedy hero, man, David Brent. I love uh, Ricky Gervais. I love his stand up. Uh, I like a lot of Ricky Gervais's stuff. Um, really great guy. Uh, we've got here. Get him to the Greek equilib equilibrium as well. The uh, Christian Bale movie and the Russell Brand. And Jonah Hill comedy movie. Get Him to the Greek is a hidden gem of a movie. 
really good comedy movie. It was a spin-off of, uh, was it Getting Something Sir Marshall? Forgetting Sir Marshall, I think it was a spin-off of that. Uh, 21, really cool movie. Uh, Kevin Spacey, I know Kevin Spacey is kind of like that guy in Hollywood no one really likes to talk about anymore, but I like him in that movie. Uh, I still think... Uh, forgetting all that, like, I like looking at what the movie is rather than the person, and I like the movie uh, 21, which features Kevin Spacey. Really good movie. Uh, this is Spinal Tap, and uh, we got Romeo and Juliet, Titanic. They're kind of like two movies that maybe might leave the collection at some point and go to uh, charity uh, because, or to pass them to somewhere else, because I'm not really a big fan of Titanic or Romeo and Juliet. Not really my sort of films, but they're in here at the moment. Uh, the Beach, great movie. Uh, the IT Crowd con Collection, got these in here as well, great series. Uh, Come Fly With Me, British TV show from the Little Britain creators. Uh, the Inbetweeners, we've got there. So we've got a lot of TV shows here in a minute. We've got um, The Inbetweeners movie, the second one, Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters as well. What else have we got? We've got Johnny English, we've got... Uh, two of the Hangover movies. Uh, I like the Johnny English movies. I think they're really funny. Uh, really funny British movies. You know, really easy to watch. Uh, Hangovers, I like the first two. The third one was a bit of a letdown in my opinion. It just didn't uh, really appeal to me. It was just took itself a bit too serious. Um, maybe, maybe, I only watched it once, but I feel like the once was enough for me um, on that movie. Then we've got Jack Ryan, The Shadow Recruit. Uh, this was one with, uh, was it Chris Pine in? And it's a really good Jack Ryan uh, movie. Uh, I, I've, I've watched the TV show, more recent show on Amazon, and that is a good show, but the movie is a really, I um, feel like it's underrated, an underrated action movie of modern times, the Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit movie. And then we got Man, The Man from Uncle, starring um, Henry Cavill, and I forget the other guy, Arnie, Arnie Hammer, was it? That was a great, great spy film. Great spy film. I really like Man From U.N.C.L.E. That was a more recent... I think that was one I purchased this year, that one. Man From U.N.C.L.E. Uh, next, we have Memento. Yeah, these are definitely newer ones. Uh, the Nightmare, Be Nightmare Before Christmas. I like that movie, but it's not one that... Uh, I'm not really big enough on, like, Christmassy or Halloween. Anything, like, that's related to a season, really, in the collection. Um, but it's a good movie. I like it. it maybe it'll come out of the collection around Christmas or Halloween time. Uh, next up, what do we have? We've got Behind Enemy Lines, great film. Scarface, uh, we've got Super 8, uh, we've got Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights, whoa, that is probably one of my top picks out of this collection. Uh, that and Spinal Tap. These are, Boogie Nights is a great film. Uh, it was one where I was just, I would have kept it in the collection, but I just felt like it didn't fit in a certain genre of movies, but I do really like Boogie Nights. I think it's a terrific film starring Mark Wahlberg and tons of other great cast members uh we've got the the men behaving badly it's a british tv show chris uh last orders it's like the last three specials they did the kill bill collection one and two and uh, we got jackie brown uh we got the sherlock movies the uh, imaginarium of dr parnassus heath ledger's last movie i uh, watched that more recently as well uh i got out of the collection to watch uh, it's a good movie. It's a um, de decent watch. It's it's a weird one. It is a very weird one. I think, is it, is it Terry Terry Pratchett? Did it? I can't remember who, who wrote that movie. Um, or was it one of the guys out of uh, Monty Python? I'm not too sure. Great. It was a really good movie, though. An interesting watch of a movie. Um, very, like, a very weird, very weird concepts. I, I imagine a lot of that movie was changed as well due to the death of Heath Ledger because he died throughout the filming process. Um, but yeah, great, great watch, and I believe that is it. We've got a few, that's it, that is it. We've got a few albums, and I've got two albums in it. Hot Leg, uh, which is a really good album, <laughs> and Precious Wilson and the Eruption Grace Dits. Not a big collector of CDs, but they are the only two in the collection, but... There you go, it's a, it's a mixed bunch. There's still plenty of space in that collection for more DVDs, and look, in the future, I would not be against getting another one of those wallets to store some more in. Um, you know, I don't think I'd ever get rid of this collection behind me fully. Uh, I do like having something of a collection. I like this because it can close behind me, but I like having 
a, a solution like this to store some movies. I think it's great, and the, it's great the fact that I've still got loads of space left over in there because there's not a lot of movies that I, I mentioned then. That's that's not a ton really. It's uh, so it's uh, it's a great solution, and um, they are the movies, and it's just nice that I can always just you know open it up. It's my physical media version of Netflix. That's why the way I think of it. I can just grab out this big storage wallet, go like this, look through the library of movies, pick one out, put it in the DVD player. Boom, we're ready to go. If you enjoyed this video today, please do give it a like and check out the rest of my movie related content as well. And let me know your thoughts on my storage wallet. Do you think it's a, a good idea for storing your, storing your movies? And what did you think of the movies in my storage wallet? More importantly, because this is a movie collection video talking about the movie collection in my wallet. Do you feel like there's some in there that should be in the collection behind me? Maybe Boogie Nights should be in there. Maybe The Man from Uncle or Spinal Tap should be in there. Let me know uh, what picks, movie picks you think should maybe take the place in this collection or what picks in the wallet should be maybe, you know, taken down to the charity shop and given to charity because it's not a great movie. But let me know, let me know all your picks, ladies and gents, and let me know your thoughts and what movies do you keep in your storage wallets if you have some. Uh, let me know all your thoughts, and as always, thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.